Quick question. What is one of your biggest goals? Go ahead. I'll give you a second. Got one? If so, what does it look like? If I actually came up to you on the street today and asked you that question, would you come up with an answer? Many people can't, and that's something we want to target in today's Motivational Firewood video. The power of visualization and getting very, very specific to give you better tools to create success in your life, whatever success means for you. Here we go. Welcome back to the Motivational Firewood channel. What is Motivational Firewood? If you have a goal, hope, or dream in your life and any part of my message inspires you to take action and create success, that is Motivational Firewood. So here we go. Today's question was, can you think of one of your goals? The biggest issue that many people have, and I used to be one of them, was creating these things called resolutions at the beginning of every single year. And each year, mine were the same. I wanted to be happy, be healthy, and make more money. <laughs> what, what happened to me at the end of every single year was, if I even found the list, I didn't know what it meant to be happier or healthier or have more money because I didn't create something specific. I didn't create an end in mind. I didn't challenge myself enough to know exactly what my goal looked like. It's like a treasure map without an X on it. You're going to wander the beach a lot and not find your treasure and not find your rum. And hell, even the parrot might fly off your shoulder because it's bored. What? One of the biggest challenges that I had to overcome, and now it's a big core part of the vision board training that I do, is to help people understand that goals, resolutions, whatever you want to call them, are not just about things. Too many people over the years have made it seem like a Dear Santa Claus letter, like, hey Santa, here's all the things that I want to have in my life, the money, the material goods, the cars, the homes, etc. When we actually have nine major areas of our lives, and in my trainings, I address all nine of these, so here they are. First off, we need to think of our goals, hopes, dreams in the areas of our relationships. What type of relationships do we want to have? How can we describe them in great detail? What words do we want to have? What emotions do we want to feel most often in our relationships? Then we have our career. Maybe the job you're in right now is wonderful. Maybe you're an entrepreneur. Whatever it is, if there's anything better you'd like to enjoy in that career, whether it be a title, a certain responsibilities, um, whatever it may be, do you know what that is? Do you want to just be higher up the ladder or is there a specific level of success that you would like to achieve? Are there certain tasks you would like to be doing? Is there something you'd rather be doing than the job you have right now? What are your career goals? How about your finances? Here we go. We come to money. How much money would you like to have? How much money would you like to save each year? How much money would you like to have at retirement? What do you want to be worth? What are some of the vehicles that you would like to use to help build up your success resources. How about that physical health? Remember that little resolution? Feel better? What is a target weight you would like to see on the scale, say, at the end of one year? What foods do you need to be eating more often? What foods do you need to get off your plate? Because they're killing you. I joked with my doctor this year. You know, if Lipitor tasted like bacon, I wouldn't be in this trouble. Do you currently get enough exercise? Do you drink enough water? each day to keep your body hydrated? What are the aspects, what are the things that you would like to see with regard to your physical health? Which emotions would you like to feel more often? Do you wanna feel joyful? Do you wanna feel love? Do you wanna feel being understood? Do you wanna feel bonds with people? What do you wanna feel? How do you want your emotional health and well-being to be? How would you describe it? Do you feel that you are living your life ethically and morally so much that it resonates in your soul, in your heart, soul, in your mind? Are you living the right way? And this can also apply to your spiritual life. If you do believe in a higher power or a higher being, are you living your life in accordance with the teachings of that particular faith or religion or following? Do you feel that you are in tune with that as much as you would like to be? And if not, what would that look like for you? Are you feeling connected with the world? Sadly, one of the things that technology has helped to create are feelings of isolation with so many people. We can communicate all around the world virtually with people, but yet 
we feel alone. We're not having that real person-to-person connection. If you would like to be more connected in a real way with the real world, how could you do that? What would that look like? Are there clubs or associations that you would like to be a part of? Is there a hobby that you would like to take up that would put you in a room with other people who have similar interests? And then, of course, we do have the material things, the stuff. Is there a certain car you would love to drive? Is there a certain home you'd like to live in? Picture it right down to the size, the shape, the model, the color. All of these things come into play when you're visualizing your goals. Several years ago at a live event, I asked if there was anybody in the audience who had a particular vehicle that they would like to drive. And from the very back of the room, I saw a hand go up and she was so tiny, I asked her to stand. And it was this lovely, lovely lady in her mid-60s, was nearing retirement with the company that I was speaking for. And I said, what vehicle would you like to drive? And she said in full flat out voice, I want a bright orange 74 Corvette convertible. And it was just amazing the way she said it. Everybody just turned, started clapping for her because she was nearing retirement and wanted to go cruising. So my answer was, okay, do you know anyone around here selling one? And she said, yes. And my question to the audience was, okay, who's going to go to lunch with her tomorrow? Have her sit in that car and take her picture to help make it more real and to also make more people aware that that is one of her goals. See, this is what I'm talking about. When I asked at the beginning of this video, quick, what is one of your goals? It is important, no matter what we want in this life, to connect it to as many of our senses as possible. What does it look like? What does it feel like? What does it sound like? What does it smell like? New car smell, dude, come on, it's awesome. What are the ways that you can connect all of your senses to everything you want in each area of your life? One of my favorite examples of connecting with a goal is a young lady named Kayla Sorrow. Now, Kayla lives in New York, and she used to work for one of my biggest clients for whom I do live vision board events each January for the past five or six years. And Kayla would attend via live webinar at her home in New York. Since she was very young, Kayla has wanted to be a country singer. She's learned how to play guitar. She writes her own music. And when she shared this and created it as part of her vision board several years ago, she said it really started to come together because she started to recognize opportunities to connect with people who could help her along with her dream and to see the different ways that she could progress further or reach a larger audience. So on her vision board were things like Nashville bumper stickers, a saying on there talking about country music being the best kind of music in the world, And as she started to take advantage and take action on this, as people were making her aware of what she could do, she has auditioned for The X Factor. And she also had the chance several years ago when a friend, knowing her dream, reached out and said, hey, the radio station is having a contest. If you film yourself shooting a video of this particular song, submit it, get enough votes to be in the top 10, submit it again, get enough votes to be picked, you get to be live on stage at an upcoming country music festival. Well, Kayla did all of these things and she got all her family and friends, everyone who was aware of her goal to cast votes for her and she wound up winning. And going from a place of wishing to be a country singer, she actually found herself by knowing what her goal looked like, surrounding herself with people who supported her and being aware of opportunities on stage singing a duet with Keith Urban which is just amazing. You could do things like this too. When I asked, what does your goal look like? If you didn't come up with an answer, what could you do to come up with a better one? What visuals could you create to make those goals, hopes, and dreams more real? And what actions can you take to get closer every single day? What you're creating is the X on your treasure map. What does it look like? Till next time, take care. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please remember, see your desired outcomes. This recording studio, this camera, this microphone, and people like you have been part of my vision boards for a number of years. See, I've got a barn on my vision board. And right now I don't have the land to build one. So that wall behind me, genuine barn board from a sawmill nearby. $75 worth of barn board made this part of my dream 
come true. If you would like to have access to more pieces of motivational firewood just like this one, we would love to have you as part of the Motivational Firewood family. Just hit that subscribe button right over there and we'll take care of the rest.